guys. So today I want to talk about the DBA tools PowerShell module, and this is just an introduction. This is a vast tool set that you can add to your, uh, your tool chest for SQL server. So let's uh, take a look at it. So just an, an overview, what this is, it's a PowerShell module that's very popular. It's community driven. Uh, so open source, and it's got a bunch of utilities for simplifying administration tasks common to SQL Server. So there's a vast number of functions, like well over 600, that cover a wide variety of tasks in SQL Server, including backups, restores. There's a bunch of uh, functions for migration and replication management. And it's really great for copying configuration for things like logins and mail setup and jobs, you know, things that are typically very uh, screen driven and, you know, you have to type in a lot of information and just a lot of opportunity for error. So you can get this done basically once and then just start copying it from server to server. And it's great for automating synchronization of these configuration between your servers. It does, and another thing that's great about it is it doesn't have to be installed on each server that you're using it on. You can have like a utility server, install it there. And as long as the servers have connectivity, you can run the commands and it'll reach out using SMO to the various servers and run the commands for you. And you don't really need to be a expert PowerShell programmer to use it. You just need novice level skills. Great way to get started with it is to use the get DBA commands. There's a bunch of them that start with get DBA and they're just read only. So you're not going to make any modifications. Then after you get through that, you can graduate to using the dash what if, and that'll just do a dry run. It'll show you what, what it would do. So you can do your dil, dil, due diligence before you actually run the commands. To get started, you would need to install the DBA tools module into your PowerShell environment. And to do that, you would just open a PowerShell console with as administrator with administrative privileges. And if you're running five PowerShell 5.0, it's a very simple install. You just run install dash module dash name DBA tools. And that's it. Once you have that, you're ready to, to get going. There's a lot of documentation available at DBA tools.io. I'm going to show that in just a minute. If you are running PowerShell 4.0 or earlier, there may be a few more steps, but I'm going to omit that now just for uh, simplicity and assume everybody's running PowerShell 5.0 or later. Here we are on the DBA Tools site. Um, you don't really need to download if you're running 5.0. You just run it right in your PowerShell environment. Uh, so that the, there's a lot of documentation on the site. Click on that. You've got all the commands that are available. You can search here for the commands you want. There's actually a um, categorization of these. If you just go to the commands listing and you've got, you know, everything's broken down by category and then you can go into each category and look for the commands that you're, look, you're looking to run. And then there's full documentation for those commands available. So great place to get started. Bookmark the DBA tools.io site. So that's start working with things. You've got the, everything you need to get started. These are just a few of the command. Let's just get an idea of the power that you have here. So the first one here I've got is copy DBA DB mail. So normally when you go in and configure database mail, you've got to type in several pieces of information. Um, you know, you get anything wrong with the port or the, uh, the domain name or anything like that with the servers, uh, it's going to cause problems. So you want to get it, you want to enter it once and then be done with it. So uh, here's just the commands. You just type uh, copy DBA DB mail. This is in your PowerShell environment. You give it a source server and then a destination. And it's going to copy your mail server information, including the port and the, the IP address or the DNS name. Copy your mail server accounts and your profiles from the source to the destination. So very useful, a lot of information getting copied in one shot. Next one here is for copying the, the SQL agent operator. So if you've got jobs and you've got operators for those jobs, you need to have those operators in place before you create your jobs on the, on the target server. 
So again, very similar to uh, copying the mail, we're just going to have a source server and a destination server. And this is going to cop copy all operators from the source to the target. Next command that we're going to go over is repair db orphan user so a lot of times when you're doing a migration you're going to copy your your uh, databases from the source server to the target server and if for some reason the logins do not have the same sid which is a hexadecimal uh identifier for a login if if those are not in sync, then the login will be kind of corrupt within the database. And so this is a way to repair those orphan users. So what you're going to do is give it the command lit name. You're going to tell what instance you're dealing with, what database you need to do the repair on, or you can have a list of databases. And then you can pass in the users. In this case, just one user you're going to pass in, and it will basically correct everything within the database or databases for that user so that the SIDs are consistent and then the permissions, if they can, came over from the source, uh, they will be everything will be consistently set up. So that's uh, repair orphan user. And then the last one we're going to go over here is copy DBE agent job. So we're trying to copy jobs from a source server to a destination server, which could be a lot of information if you've got a multi-step job. So a lot of information that you would have to copy over you can just run with one command so we're going to say give it the commandlet name dba copy dba agent operator we give it a source source server destination your target server and then the job name dash job so it's going to copy the job and all of its steps over it's going to copy over the schedule and any notifications which that's where that operator that we talked about a minute ago comes into play Ted, there are literally hundreds of these commandlets. I counted 682 of them with the version that I'm running. Here's the command I ran to count them. And as we said, if you go to the dbatools.io site, go to commands, you've got all these categories that we saw along with, you can drill down to each of the commands, get all the parameters and just start playing with it. So that's the best way. Um, but it, that'll do it for today. I hope you guys got something out of the video. I hope you guys learned something about DBA tools and I hope you guys are gonna take something away and start uh, start uh, using the tool set. So if uh, you guys have any questions, please send them. Best questions come from you guys. And if you've been watching videos and you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you consider. Um, most of my, my viewers actually are people that don't subscribe. At least that's what the uh, YouTube council is telling me. So, hey, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you like the video and you got something out of it, press that like button. Talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.